Yo guys, what's going on? I'm Tim. This is Cash Con AC Sports Report. On the debate yesterday, Fernando had Jason Babin on. Also, he had uh, Danny Nobler of CBSSports.com on there. And I also went on the Blitz Hardcore podcast last night. Both of those would be baseball interviews. Check them out on the channel. As far as the Jason Babin interview goes, it was going really well and it cut off. But Jason gave us some great answers in the short time he was on the show. Check it out. Hey, it's uh, Jason Mavin calling you in. Oh, hey, Jason. Oh, man. Thank you for joining us. Hey, I'm, I'm cutting through Louisiana, so my service is kind of spotted here. All right, we will, we'll do the best we can. All right. Uh, so in case no one heard that, this is Jason Bowden, pro bowler from the Tennessee Titans. Really excited to have him on. Um, the first question I guess I'd like to ask you, um, kind of what we're talking about right now before you called in was um, what are you thinking about the NFL? Who do you think has the uh, who do you think has the leverage in the meeting room? Would you say the owners because they pay the players, or would you say the players because they play for the owners? Well, I, I think inside the meeting room, um, you know, there really isn't so much battle for leverage. Uh, I, I think the battle for leverage is, is is obviously trying to win the you know the fans when the people that are, you know, have an emotional attachment to the game of football, which is, you know, pretty much everybody in the United States. And the owners try to spin their message, you know, kind of their little web of lies, you know, to try and uh, undermine us. And, you know, they've tried, but thankfully because of, you know, radio shows like this and uh, multimedia, we've been able to get the truth out there. All right. Jason, as far as uh, football goes, what – clicked for you in Tennessee that didn't click for you in, like, Philly? Like, I'm a big Eagles fan, and it just didn't seem to work as well here. What worked for you in other places? Or that what worked for you in Tennessee that didn't work at other places? Well, the biggest the biggest thing for me was uh, getting the extra opportunity to play. I mean, um, in, in uh, Philadelphia, you know, I came in a few plays here, I got tired, took the cleanup reps, you know, through the game, we're getting blown out or blowing someone else out. So it's kind of hard to really get any, uh, you know, anything done in those situations. Uh, I was kind of like the odd man out. So the biggest thing to me was you know, giving the opportunity to, to be the guy and to play. All right. Okay. Um, Jason Babin, have you been watching the uh, the top 100 NFL players of 2011? I don't know what to watch. I finally, I finally saw a little video clip. Uh, someone posted to my fan page, and uh, you know, it kind of, kind of made me think about Coach Washburn because this whole thing, you know, uh, him and I got pretty close over the year, and now that I'm a free agent and all this stuff going on, I can't, I can't talk to him. I can't even see what's going on. He would, you know, we, you know, we're we're much more than player coach. So, uh, you know, kind of made me uh, miss him on the uh, personal level. Okay. Um, do you see yourself potentially considering going back to Philly now that Jim Washburn has come over to Philly, or would you like to stay in Tennessee? Where, where do you see yourself playing next year? Well, the biggest thing for me is, um, you know, Tennessee could have uh, had me all wrapped up before the fringe even started, before the lockout even started, you know, because they had, they had first rights to me. Uh, but there never was any, you know, discussion. Or there never was any. Hey, listen, we got some changes going on. We're gonna. We want to talk with you. We want. We want. We want to sit down at a later date when it's appropriate. You know, they never. You know, they never did that to me. So, um, you know, I, I feel like I got a lot of street street smarts. So it kind of lets me uh, read between the lines and say that they don't have me in their plans uh, for the future. But it's one of those things that's hard hard to guess, and I don't want to. You know, I don't want to close the doors um, before uh, they actually close. So really just waiting on this lockout. Um, hopefully I get cleaned up uh, as soon as it does, and uh, I can move forward with my situation. Cool. And um, from a, in case in the case that you were to return to Tennessee in the coming year or the year after that, whatever this is, Paul, um, are you excited to uh, to have Jake Walker? On your team, what do you uh, have? You had a chance to speak with the guy. Uh, is that the guy they drafted? Yeah, the quarterback. 
the quarterback. Uh, yeah, I knew they had uh, Now, I really don't pay attention too much to uh, college football, so I don't uh, actually even I don't know too much about them. So I'm sure I'll, I'm sure I'll figure it out if I get back there. I'll be playing them wherever I'm at. Okay, uh, Jonathan, but, but you, uh, you've been around. There's some kind of interesting situation um, because. If I understand it, we were talking about this the day. Um, Vince Young is technically still on the team because uh, the day that he would have to be technically released never never actually came due to the lockout. So you know, he potentially still could be a Titan, I think, if I understand all the facts right. So there might be a little interesting uh, twist uh, coming up yet with the uh, quarterback situation in Tennessee. Okay, uh, one question coming from the chat room. It comes from... Man, you're screwing me with this name. The Philly Fan Loves Men asks, what do you think is going on? What do you think about what's going on with Albert Hainsworth? Okay, well, I, I lost that for a second. What was the, uh, what was the question? What do you think about what's going on with Albert Hainsworth right now? Oh, Albert Hainsworth? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's kind of hard to say. Uh, I don't know. Um, I know Coach Wash uh, uh, had nothing but good things to say about him. You know, I obviously respect him uh, a lot. So it's, it's kind of hard to say. I mean, I know what he can do on the field, but he can be nasty when uh, when put in the right situation. 